Hello everybody, I just wanted to touch up on a topic that I forgot to talk about in the last OpenGL tutorial uh, where we actually put in images into our uh, figures. Uh, so what we ended off there was just a rectangle that had uh, a picture of Obama and a picture of, an, uh, of a sacrilegious American flag and they were both mixed equally uh, based on the value that we set here, the 0.5 uh, in the mix method over here. Um, so I'm going to talk about now um, how to uh, actually control this value and to change it with keyboard input. Um, so the way we're going to do it is the same way that we did uh, the textures and the and the transform matrix that we had, we're going to use uniform, uh, which means we'll be setting this variable runtime through the shader. Uh, and we're going to control this value using our arrows, like I said. Um, so, first thing we want to do is have a global variable that'll actually control the, that will store this value. So I'll say float mix value, and we're going to set it initially to zero point five. Um, and after that, uh, we want to go ahead and set it in the main loop. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, shader dot set float. And we will name the float uh, in our fragment core. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new variable called uniform uh, float mix val. And then just replace this 0.5 here with a mix val. Um, so now back into main.cpp, uh, the name is just what we said, so mix val, and then pass in the float value mix val, the global variable. Uh, so if you run this, we should get the exact same thing, and we do. So now let's go ahead and try and change this. So go down to go down into process input, and we're going to go ahead and uh, change mix value. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test to see if either the up or down arrow key is pushed. Uh, so if glfw get key window glfw key uh, up is equal to glfw press. So if the state of the, p the state of the key is pressed, then uh, we're going to set the mix. We're going to increment the mix value by some number. So mix val plus equals 0.05f. Uh, but we also don't want it to go above one because then we, we would get some weird stuff. So if mix val is greater than one, we're just going to say uh, mix val is equal to 1.0f, just like that. Um, and then we also want to check to see if the down arrow is pushed. So if glfw get key uh, window glfw key down is equal to glfw press, uh, we're going to say mix val uh, minus equals 0.05f. And then uh, we want to check for the lower bound as well. So if uh, mix val is less than zero, uh, we're going to say mix val is equal to 0.0f. Just like that. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and test this. Um, so we have our initial, uh, which is just mixed evenly, and then if I press the up arrow key, mix value will increase. So we're going to get the uh, uh, the second image more. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, we're going to get the second image more, and then if we press the down arrow key, we're going to get completely the first image, so the Obama image, um, and this goes from zero to one. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, in the f maybe later this week, I don't know, uh, but I will be uh, actually creating a video on how to integrate a controller and a joystick into OpenGL, uh, so we can do this using a controller, which will be useful for games and such. Um, yep, yeah, I will see you then. Bye.